hi friends this we this tutorial i will teach uh, how to connect a database in crystal report i will teach uh, how many database how many ways to connect the uh, database to crystal report so this is a field explorer here you will find the field explorer here once you didn't find the field explorer in toolbox you have to uh, and right click any any crystal report and click field explorer it will be comes Field Explorer. Just go to Field Explorer. It will become here. Okay. In inside in inside your Field Explorer, you have to find the database field and right click the database field. Click the database expert. Inside your database except expert, my connection is previous connection will be showing here. So you are creating a new connection. Just click here, new connection here inside your new connection many type of the database it will accept it. for example excel or adodb xml is a database file is a database file means is a data set and odbc means you have to create the odbc and oldb means it will be uh, linked to the olb providers like that so okay now i will teach uh, olb db so i have already one database called so using i am using sql server 2008 or any sql server you can open the sql server so i will see first my database is available which database is there or anything i will show it just i am going to uh, windows authentication mode So here I am finding my databases. I have many databases. Now I am trying to connect uh, which database. Uh, uh, try and connect driving database. So I will connect the driving database. So what can I do first? So inside a OLDP, so is a plus symbol is there. I have to click the plus symbol. It will many databases there. Here I am choosing Microsoft OLDP provider for SQL Server and click next. <laughs> so you have to mention the server name and uh, user ID, password and database name. So I am mine is Windows authentication mode. Then just no username and password. So just I click here. So it will be asking the server name. So click the uh, here. So it will fetch your server name. Or else you have uh, already know your correct server name. Then you have to directly enter the your server name, server names also. So here I, I know that my server name is uh, nimbly iPhone PC. So you didn't know your server name. Just put dot one dot is enough for me so here i'm choosing the database i'm choosing the database driving and next and finish so it will get you get into the all the uh, tables in drivings and um, plus dot inside a database the database and database name is driving inside dob is a database object owner the, here only you can find the work uh, tables and short procedures and viewers views etc so inside your tables you have to find the, those two tables and click the tables and next okay uh, it will it will be only data you add more on more than one table it will be comes here links option is there so inside the links you have to specify the <coughs> links which is connected to the uh, register number or uh, here also register number just unclick the ok so you will find the fields and just track them that's it this is to track them <coughs> so you will find the details here so this is register number just track them so you will get the register number everything ok guys so now we are now I am need I need to connect the other database. So just delete those things. The the tick mark will be goes and go to the uh, again database sections and remove the database here. So the database everything is removed. So I need to connect using the data set method. So what can I do? Mm, go to the database files. Here you will find you will find the where is the your, my computer 
and desktop I have some database data set is there so uh, for the recordings I will teach how to create a data set also so first I click the data set and click OK so inside the data set I have the two tables so you can add the those tables so OK uh, and so we can share them also ok guys how to you configure the DM ODBC 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 here type ODBC it will find the ODBC data source here click the head here I am choosing uh, SQL server where is SQL server I think this is so finish so asking the server name just put the dot description so you need any so asking the name that is uh, drive just time drive description anything you do in server name I put dot and next so I am using windows authentication mode so just time next here I am choosing the database driving next next and ok so here here drive is there so just click the ok now we have to go to the database field options now I am go to the database here I am using ODBC or DO here I am choosing the drive now we are showing the drive and click next so you have any password then you have to provide the password a trust connection then you no need to provide the password and click finish so you will get the driving and DOB here table here you will find it so now I am adding okay okay anything you have to track them and view the source it will be getting the data ok guys we will meet our next tutorial this is the this is for three connection is basically we are using in nowadays one is SQL connection another one is ODBC another one is data set ok guys we will meet our next